Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you this particle effect which can be used for music videos. Alright, so first of all you need your clip on which you want to apply this effect. Go with this clip selected into Fusion. Then press Shift and Space by the same time and search for Magic Mask. Select Magic Mask and press Add. And if you don't get the studio version then just watch this video so you can see how to rotoscope for free. Alright, but in this case I just want to mask out my person. So I draw some lines. Okay, I don't want this right here. So I go to the stroke mode and I select this symbol. And then I draw a line around the parts I don't want to be masked out. Okay, so if this is done, then I change the mode to better. Then I press this button and the AI will do the rest for me. Okay, so now the person is masked out. And I press shift and the left mouse button at the same time on my magic mask and I drag it up right here. Then I connect the media in one node to my magic mask. So this arrow should be yellow. And I connect this magic mask back to my media in one node. Then I select my magic mask one and I press ctrl C and ctrl V to duplicate the magic mask. And again I select my media in one node and I connect it to my magic mask two. And I connect this back to the merge one node. So this will be in a mask which is on top of our particles and this will be our particle system. So I drag it up right here and I drag this down. Now I select the first magic mask and I press shift and space by the same time and I search for P emitter. Select P emitter and press add. Then I drag this to the right of my magic mask and I go into the inspector. Now go to region and change the region from sphere to bitmap. And now we are able to connect this magic mask with the P emitter node. So I unselect this arrow and I connect these two nodes. So for understanding this P emitter node will create the particles for us. Alright now I go back into the inspector. I go to controls and in here you can change the number of particles. So right now we've got 10 and I increase this number to 500 particles. Another interesting number is the lifespan of your particles. So if you increase this number then the particles will stay longer. And if you decrease this number then they will respawn faster. So I decrease the lifespan usually to about 20. And I change the color to use color from region. Then I go to velocity. So in here you can change how fast the particles will move into one direction. So right now they are not moving into one certain direction, but I usually increase this to 0.07. After that I go to style and I change the style from point to blob. So this is just a much more prettier shape for the particles. And the last important thing are the size controls. So in here you can change the size of your particles. And you can change the size variance, so some particles are very big, whereas others are very small. And right now they all got the same size. Alright, so I slightly increase this number. And I select this dot and I drag it down right here. So new spawned particles are bigger than the old ones. Alright, that's it for this node. And now again I press shift and space by the same time. And I search for P turbulence. Select it and press add. So I think this node is for the movement of the particles. I increase the X strength and the Y strength to 0.3. And I increase the density to around 70. Then again I press shift and space by the same time and I search for P render. Select P render and press add. With this node selected you only have to change the output mode from 3D to 2D. And then I connect this P render node back to my merge one node. Okay, this has taken some time, but now you can see this particle effect is working on our person. Okay, and now I want to add a little bit of motion into the particle system. So I select my P turbulence node, I press shift and space by the same time, and I search for P directional. I select P directional force and I press add. So now you can see the particles are moving down and if you want to change the direction then you simply can change the strength and direction number to your liking. Also I want to add a soft glow node so I select my P render node and I press shift and space by the same time. I search for soft glow, I select soft glow and I press add and I increase the gain and I decrease the glow size. 
So now you can see they are more shining than before. Again, you can change these numbers to your liking. Okay, so I think that's it. And by the way, if you don't always want to run through this process with these notes, then you can simply check the first link in the description to get some nice free presets from my website. So the website is not done yet, but you can download it for free. If you downloaded the pack, then just try to extract it. So these are my presets. Then you go into Fusion, you go to Effects, Templates, and then you press right click into the Templates folder and you select Show Folder. Now just import these five presets into this folder. So I just replaced them because I already downloaded them. And then you just need to restart DaVinci Resolve. Then you go to Effects, Templates, and you search for Golden Eye. Then you will find my presets and you drag and drop it into this node field. And then you don't need these nodes right here. And you just connect your first magic mask with this preset and this preset with the merge one node. And then it will take some time for the processing. And now you can see it's done. All right, I hope this preset and this video helped you. If so, then leave a like or sub to my channel. Check the first link in the description to get some nice presets. And thanks for your attention, stay creative and bye.